kidney stones let me first tell you what happens uh, when you have a kidney stone you could be an absolutely healthy person you suddenly start getting a pain in your middle back somewhere in the middle of the back and this pain sometimes can radiate up and down it can go to the front it can go down all the way to the urinary area now this pain can be excruciating very very painful now, along with that sometimes you might have a tendency to pass urine you might want to go to the urine you try to pass urine urine may not come freely you might have burning while passing urination your entire back goes into a spasm because of the pain the intensity of the pain is so bad that you might feel like vomiting you might feel chills you might develop temperature you might develop the lower abdominal pain and the pain can be very excruciating what happens and why do you get this pain now kidneys have this tendency to form stones sometimes the urine becomes a little concentrated and there is a deposition that happens of the stones crystals that deposit and become a stone now when the stone breaks off as long as it is there in any part urine keeps flowing nothing will happen to you but when these crystals break off into small pieces they run down through the urinary tract and get stuck somewhere the moment it gets stuck somewhere that is when the pain starts horrible pain and the pain continues for a few hours to a day you are forced to go to a doctor you go to the allopathic doctor he'll give you a painkiller he'll give you a painkiller injection he'll give you something called citralka which will flush out the urine and you feel better and then he'll tell you look you got a kidney stone we need to remove the stone and then he'll do a either a laser surgery or he'll do whatever he'll put a stand whatever and then he will eventually get rid of the stone for you four months five months six months you're back with the same problem again now let me explain to you a logic the reason the stone is forming is because there is something wrong with the filtration that is why the deposits are getting accumulated the crystals are getting accumulated and the stone is formed okay you get rid of the stone with laser how will you prevent another stone from forming again simple logic think about it i've got an entire village who comes to me with kidney stones it's something to do with the water it's something to do with the tendency in that those people but they all come now surgery is definitely not a solution to the problem unless the stone is so huge that it is very difficult to get rid of it we get 12 mm 13 mm 18 mm stones in our clinics now what do we do in homeopathy like i said before we believe that kidney stones are caused because of a problem with the filtration where you know the deposits are happening so homeopathic medicines basically remove the tendency that means it corrects the filtration mechanism whatever is causing the stones is stopped then these medicines whatever stones are there they kind of break those uh, stones with the medicines and they pass through your urine now while they are passing through most of the times you won't even know it becomes powder and it will go off your urine might be a little cloudy sometimes if a stone also passes a big stone also passes if it stone if the big stone passes it might cut the inner inner side and cause a little bit of bleeding nothing to worry so not only with the homeopathic medicines the existing stone goes away but this also prevents further stone formation from happening homeopathy according to me is the only system of medicine that can stop further formation of stones yes it does not happen in a couple of months even if the stone is gone you need to continue medication for a few months to see that further stone formation does not happen so we get a lot of patients coming every 3 months with the kidney stone we put patients coming to us for the past 20 years i've been passing kidney stones every few months it's been some of them it doesn't pain also they just say oh we passed this stone we are all right but most of the time it pains and it can be very very painful also not a very pleasant experience but homeopathy has got wonderful medication for it diet restrictions now a lot of people say palak paneer you know there are certain things that needs to be avoided but i would say nothing that's an old uh, school of thought eat whatever you want the only thing that you need to do is drink a lot of water barley water is good for you but uh, buttermilk is good watermelon juice is good cranberry juice is good these are things which will flush the urine so the more water you drink the more your urine will get excreted and the more urine gets excreted it takes the stone and this gravels of stone with it 
So basically it's a flushing system. So what you do is you focus on increasing your intake of water to flush out whatever stones are there inside. I don't suggest any diet restrictions and all that. The only thing that I would say is drink plenty of water. The more water you drink, the more chances of the stone being the stone flushing out. So kidney stones, whenever you have them, you take some painkillers. Whenever you get a severe pain, take a uh, whatever painkiller the allopathic doctor gives you. Within a few hours, the pain will settle down. Don't panic after that. Don't think that, oh, the kidney stone is there. That will cause a problem. Nothing will happen. When I said before that an entire village comes to me, do you think those villagers will go and get themselves surgically operated? Nothing. All they do is take my medication, drink a lot of water, and all of them are doing, doing fine. It's only people like us, we get panicky and we go in for a surgery. Within 4-6 months, you're back to square one again. That is not required at all. Kidney stones are something we are very confident of treating very, very successfully. Take care.